Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? So today we are going to talk about lambda expression. So um, last time I promised you today we are going to dive into lambda expression to talk about a little bit deeper, right? But you, if you go through the uh, videos on the YouTube, you may see there are a lot of hot topics on the YouTube, right? So something like the biggest uh, secret ever in human history. So then people go and jump into watch that video because thinking that is something a remarkable uh, discussion, but maybe end up with saying nothing. But the topic I added to this video, not a fake topic like that. It's a real topic. Why? Because I'm going to teach you in the most simplest way to understand lambda expression. All right. So a lot of developers, why I've seen they are struggle to understand the lambda expression because most of the time they are trying to memorize the syntax, right? Where to put the bracket, where to put the arrow, where to put the uh, semicolon. So everything is they are going to uh, memorize. So that's not going to work, right? So because we can uh, like convert any, any method to a lambda expression. I'll teach you how, but before that, so let's discuss why they came up a concept called lambda expression. Because as I discussed last time, they wanted to introduce a functional for programming behavior to Java. That is a number one requirement. So number two, the code should be more simple to understand. For example, if you take a classic method, you may have a 15 line of code. But with this way, you can convert that to a five line of code, right? It's awesome, maybe one line. Right. So, but the problem is the real problem what developers struggle like, for example, you may came into the Java like five years ago, maybe 10 years ago, maybe three years ago. But it's still like in the base school, base class, very first class, we learn something called interface, class and a method. Right. So what are the results? We think, OK, interface is specification, class is the implementation. Right. So what we do is we create an interface and we create a, a class for that implementation. And then we create a, a method to call that class, right? But the lambda expression changed its behavior, right? It introduced a new era and it introduced new space you to call an interface, right? So we are going to discuss those differences later. But today topic, how to learn lambda expression. As I told you, I'm going to give you a promise. If you follow this video exactly with me, then you are going to learn the most simplest ever understanding explanation about the lambda expression, right? So if you know, okay, I'll take, make it simple. If you currently know how to write a Java method, that means you know how to write a lambda expression. It is that much simple, right? So that means we can convert any lambda, any simple method, any classic method to lambda expression. Sound awesome, right? Let's start. So let's take a um, normal method, right? It's a standard method. How we can write that? Public void print, right? So you may have argument or you may not have argument, right? So that's fine. So now, SOP hello, right? I understand there's no method called SOP, just a sake of understanding system out of print LN, right? So now, so we have this method, right? So now, how to convert this method into lambda expressions, right? So what are the basic things in a method what we have, right? So in a Java, in a theory, we have a few things required to a method. So number one, we must have a something called access modifier, right? Access modifier and maybe optionally non uh, non scope modifier like non access modifiers like something like a static right so we have a uh, scope modifier right so public and then we have a return type right so we have to have a return type if it's a no return type it's a void then we have to have a method name then optionally we have a parameters right but despite the parameters we must have a, a scope modifier or access modifier and then we have to have a return type and then we have to have a method name Right, so those are the rules in a method for the Java, right? But what we did with the lambda expression, in a lambda expression, no 
access modifiers or no any modifier simply right so no modifiers right so no modifiers and then no return type right and third no method name right no method name so what is the rule of the lambda expression right so actually what are the rules that mean we have to have a qualify with a three one no any modifiers then no return type and then no method name right so that is the rules those are the rules in like um, when you write an lambda expressions right so you have to memorize those three rules so now let's convert a method to a lambda expression i told you if you know how to write a java method that mean you already know how to convert that to a lambda expression in other words you all know how to write a lambda expressions okay so let's write a simple uh, java method again right so public void print right so sop hello right so this is my normal java method right how i can convert this to a lambda expression very simple right so let's how to, let's see how to do it right so rule no modifier no return type no method name that mean the result is like this so we have this and we have curly brace and we have sop hello right so only missing piece here we have to connect these two together right that's it this is called lambda expression this is called lambda expression see how simple it is right so we learn the rule and we apply the rule to a standard method it become lambda expression right so let's some different method right so this method you have argument right so public void let's say multiply right so you have a int x right so what this does is sop x into 2 right so this is my method x into 2 that's my method so now let's convert this to a lambda expression how we are going to do right apply the rule right so apply the rule no access modifier no return type no method name what's the results right so what's the results so you have int x this is the symbol of the lambda expression right so then this sop x into 2 right so that's a lambda expression right so we can make it more simple let's go to the, let's keep it to the other step right so now let's do a other way, uh, method which you have a written type right so now how you do it public int uh, let's say um, add right so int x int y right so now return x plus y right return x plus y now this is a third type of method so now let's convert this to a lambda expression apply the rule no modifier no return type no method name so we get something like int x int y return x plus y right so this is the lambda expression right see how simple it is right i didn't give a fake topic right this is the most simplest explanation ever right so we know if you know how to write a java method then we know how to write a lambda expression right so this is the second type of i mean a second form second way how you can do it right so but there is a more simplification version of this we can we can make it more simple how to do it right so let's look at the first one so you can see here uh, this method only has a one line 
this method only has a one line. So that means we don't need to write these curly braces. Oh, more simple, right? So let's do that. How our lambda expression now come S O P hello. That's it. Very simple, right? So let's convert this, right? So I N T X S O P X into 2, right? Very simple. So let's convert this, right? So let's get the different color. So it's very clear, right? I N T X comma I N T Y written x plus y right very simple okay so this is not the end we can do more simplification right so how you do it let's get let's let's take this one okay so now here we are saying we need an in type variable right we need in type variable so but sometime compiler can guess compiler can detect what is the data type of the variable right compiler can there are ways like we can learn in the next video how to do it but compiler can guess what is the data type of this variable right so we call this type inference right so we call this type inference that means we don't have to tell what is the data type of this variable we don't have to tell data type of this variable so what's the results x S O P X into 2, right? It made more simple, right? So now let's convert this in the same fashion. Right, so let's convert this in a, uh, in a similar way. How you can do it? X comma Y return X plus Y, right? It's a bit more simple, right? Is it? No, we can make it more simple. Other rule, if, the way, if we have only single argument, single parameter, then we don't have to use the parenthesis, right? So that means this will become something like this, x into 2, right? So, but here is a different, right? We can make this also more simple. We can't remove the parenthesis. Why? Because it has a two arguments, right? It has a two arguments. So we can't remove the parenthesis. But what see what we can do? X Y compiler can identify when the compiler can identify this has a return. This is a return. We don't have to say it's a return. So what you can do is you can write something like this. Wow. It's more and more simple now, right? So you can see now, if you can write any Java method, we can convert that to a lambda expression. But I understand, right? You can't write a code like this in your co uh, any IDE, right? When you compile, it will fail, right? So we are one step behind to write a method like this on a, uh, as a Java code and compile. What is that part? It is a functional interface, right? It's a functional interface. So we missed that part right so that's the part we are going to discuss on the next video but i would say don't jump into jump ahead and read but if you're confident you can do it just go ahead and read and I'll try to understand what is uh, a functional interface and how to app how what is the connectivity between uh, lambda expression and the functional interface but if you can wait wait for the next video i will make it more in a simple way like this okay just recap so what is the lambda expression? Lambda expression is a more simple way to write the same method, right? If you know Java method, then we can convert it to a uh, lambda expression. What are the rules? Um, if there is a one line, you don't have to use the curly braces, right? And also, um, if, if, we, if compiler can guess the data type, then you don't have to use the data type as well. We call that a type inference, right? So then that's the second rule. The third rule, if, if the compiler again guess it's going to return, you don't have to specify the return type as well, right? So that is a other rule. 
and like um, when we when we get all those rules together, we have a lambda expression, right? So, but again, I'm saying you can't write this in a uh, as a piece of code and compile, right? We're missing one piece. Okay, we are going to talk about that piece on the next uh, video, right? So till that. If you're not subscribed yet, so subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to click this uh, bell sign so next to the subscribe button so that will give you a notification to you whenever I upload a video, right? So stay in touch, I like my Facebook pages and Instagram, follow me, then we will see you in the next video as quick as possible, as soon as possible to discuss about the functional interface to find the missing piece of this lambda expression to make it a real and write a code piece of code and compile. Till that, see you again.